Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome yourselves back to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing Mark Doner's new song, No Love in L.A. Now, if you don't know who he is, he is a YouTuber. Okay, well, why am I reviewing YouTuber's song? Well, because he hasn't released music in a long time, and his first song was pretty good, so I was very interested to review slash listen to this new song of his, mainly because he hyped it up, and just because I have faith in him as an artist slash person that this song, person, I cannot talk, that the song is going to be good. And for Mark Doner fans out there, I'm pretty sure you guys were waiting for this, um, and anticipating this just as much as I was, and I gotta say... Um, I, I, I do like this song. I do. I think it's good. He's made a lot of progression and he's gotten a lot better. Um, especially compared to Mama Do You Know. I mean, that's the only thing we can pick, can, can't compare it to. That song was already good, but he's gotten better with his vocals, notes he can hit, things like that. His production, his songwriting, maturity in all areas, uh, I found from, from this song. Um, so, so... I like what he's talking about, right? I like how he's talking about how, hmm, maybe I should try, but I know it's not gonna, LA sucks, it's not gonna, you know, I, I like that, the kind of the fatalistic out attitude, um, you know, I found love before, didn't work, yeah, no love in LA, yeah, like, I like that attitude he has towards LA, that very, very negative attitude, I don't know, I like it how he did that, was very very good it was a different spin on songs talking about the problems of la and stuff like that i do like that i'm a big fan of the pre-chorus the production behind it the notes he's hitting his vocals sound really really good that was a really good i like the verse like i the verses like i said because it's telling a story it's um and it's doing it in a unique good way it's like try this eh, why it's gonna fail anyways eh, big deal you know Eh, you know, it's just like an eh kind of song. Um, and then the chorus itself, I do like as well. Um, one tiny criticism, and as is, is, I believe he says no love in LA, uh, probably four to eight times during the course. I didn't count exactly, but maybe six times. Point is, he says that a lot. Now, it's a chorus. Obviously, it's supposed to be repetitive and whatnot. That's not their critique. Their critique is that maybe instead of instead of saying no live in LA so many times, he could have switched it up and said a different uh, a different uh, phrase slash sentence that uh, or bar if you want to call it that that rhymed exactly with no love in LA. So for instance, no love in LA, no love in LA, sa da 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 a. Da, 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 da. No love in LA, no love in LA. I don't know. That's just a little nitpick of mine. Does it make the song bad? Does it take away from the experience? No, but that's something I feel like he maybe could have added. But then again, I'm sure he thought of it because he was pondering this song, pondering it, making sure it's perfect before he put it out. So I'm sure he made the artistic decision himself. Eh, you know, maybe I shouldn't do that. But this song definitely makes um, him, that makes me take him a lot more seriously as an artist. And I did to a degree uh, before, well, not as an artist because one so dropping one song doesn't really make you an artist. But I took him seriously in the, in, in the fact that He's not here to make stupid songs, right? He's not. And he showed us um, that with this song even more. So um, I like it. It's not It's not groundbreakingly uh, original or anything like that. Um, his vocal tone is very similar to a lot of people. Uh, the person it reminds me most of is uh, Andrew Taggart from The Chainsmokers. Uh, just parts of his voice. Uh, I believe Mark has some, obviously, he's not, it's not a carbon copy or anything, or, or, not a copy, that's a bad word, but point is, it's not like they sound exactly the same, um, but I would say that that is, um, pretty similar, so not super unique in that way, this song isn't super unique, but for what it's trying to do, I do believe it accomplishes it pretty well, and for that, I would give this song, um, 1 out of 10, I'd probably give it a 6 to 7, I do believe Mark could, uh, can have work or can continue to work and get better on his songwriting and everything like that. Probably in the form of uh, making it more catchy. I'm not saying it wasn't 
catchy, but it's not like something at this point in time that is stuck, stuck, stuck in my mind. It's something that it comes on, I sing it, I'm like, okay, cool, this is a good song. I can recognize it as a good song, as a song as a whole, but it's not a song that I'm crazy about. But I'm, at the same time, I'm sure a lot of people are crazy about this, and I'm not crazy about every single song that drops. So that's just a personal nitpick that probably doesn't apply uh, to a lot of people. Um, but I'll give them an up for the lyrics. I'll give them an up, an up for uh, the the mixing and all of that. Although I'm a lot of people, pretty much everybody these days has their mixing good, but I found that especially good. I'll give him an up that the beat was super catchy, and I'll give him an up an, an up that he is definitely one of the best YouTube singers. The only place, like I said, where I'm gonna knock him is overall song as an experience can always get a little better, but it can for anybody, right? So it's not really a nitpick. It's just, you know, it's just a fact. Uh, and one other thing, uh, <clears throat> in the bridge slash last verse, I'm not really sure which one it was. I believe it was, it was the last verse. Um, he hit some pretty cool notes. He's not going super high. He's not going super low, but he's doing little twangy notes, little, you know, semi notes and all of that, that um, I do appreciate and is good. And I think overall in closing of this review, um, <clears throat> my voice, but in closing of this, of this review, I would like to say that I like that he stayed in his lane, but did probably the best he could within the parameters of, of the, this song. So with that being said, Mark Donor, you did good. I hope you see this. If so, keep making music because this is a great, great start. And it also... Uh, a lot of when people, a lot of people say it's a great start. It's like oh, it's a great start, but you know you gotta get a lot better, bro. I mean, I gotta get a lot of people gotta gotta get a lot better. But the song as itself, you aside, it's 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 a good song. It's it's a good song. I wouldn't say really really good, but again, personal dick. Anyways, um, I'm a, I'm gonna end this off. Thank you so much for watching. I do uh, song reviews every single Thursday. I just did two some other big songs that dropped. Uh, I got a KSI song. I also talked about the boxing match with Jake Paul and Gib. Um, and check that out. I do a bunch of music content. I do my own songs. If you want to check those out, I just dropped a new album called Aimless. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think about Mark Donor's new song? And um, yeah, goodbye.